A small tornado hit South Naperville, leaving debris scattered at this strip mall at Route 59 and 95th Street. Pieces of the roof flew off. Trees were uprooted, mangled metal in the parking lot. One mall employee didn't realize it was this bad until she saw all of this. I heard a little bit of rain. I got up in the morning getting ready my regular day at work and and here I see this. And I'm like, what? I didn't even hear a thing. For several hours, the Chicago area was under severe storm watches and warnings. One round after another came through during the pre-dawn hours. In southwest suburban Romeoville, staff at the National Weather Service had to take shelter. Pounding rain, lightning, wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and hail. Yes, I am. I am stuck underneath the high, uh, I think it's Highway 176 bridge right. on Highway 41 going south. In the north suburbs near Lake Bluff, Ronald Schmidt was among the drivers who made the mistake of driving through floodwaters. I was traveling from Oshkosh, Wisconsin and out of nowhere, right when I hit like Illinois, it started raining real bad. And then it's coming under the bridge and then boom, water. Didn't even see it until it was underneath it just about. Waukegan Road, Carroll Avenue, and Regency Lane were among the Lake Forest roads under water. There's nobody, no policemen. No. So you didn't see the water when you were coming down? No, the no, I didn't. It was too late. Back in Naperville, many residents couldn't help but think about what happened a year ago. The EF3 tornado that hit the west suburb June 20th, 2021. Well, of course, you know, you, you wonder, is it as bad? What is anybody injured? The safety of everybody. And luckily, so far, I haven't heard any injuries or anything major that has besides, you know, damage to the building and so forth. Hours after the twister hit, crews were still cleaning up and assessing the damage, hoping for a calmer rest of the weekend. In Naperville, Judy Wang, WGN News.